Come down to your local market and get your favorite pop Coca-Cola. We sell a two-liter bottle for 10 cents, a glass bottle for 5 cents, and a six-pack for 25 cents. Don't buy plain water. Buy Coke. Welcome to the Charles and Edward Talk Show. Today we will be interviewing the man with the legend Al Capone on the show. Let's welcome Al Capone. Hey guys. All right, let's start this interview. Where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn. Yeah, me too. How was your life as a child? My life as a child was good until my teacher hit me and I attacked back. It was just self-defense. That is terrible. Let's get off this topic and keep a good spirit. So, for people who don't know, what is your occupation? I want to chain the laundry mats around here. Where's the nearest one? Right down the street. Have you ever done anything illegal? You can ask my lawyer. Why do you say to ask them? I don't have to answer that. Okay, then. What records do you have of your income? Do you keep the records? No, I never kept any records of it. Oh, on to the next question. Is your income taxed? You can ask my lawyer. Interesting. Okay, next question. Have you ever filled income tax returns? No. Next question. Have you ever purchased real estate that was put under someone else's name? I'd rather let my lawyer answer that question. Okay, then. Do you have any canceled checks? No. Okay, on. then the next question. What do you do with your money? Do you carry it on hand? Yes, I carry my money on hand. Does that mean your money is not taxed out of your bank account? I'd rather let my lawyer answer that. Okay, then next question. I know you need to protect yourself, so what's your favorite gun? I carry a Smith & Wesson 38 Special. Wait, are you sure those are illegal? Yeah, you can check with the court. Okay, let's get on to the next thing. Let's talk about your business. Oh, yes. When were you convicted into a gang? I was young. Too young. About how old? You don't need to know. I answered and that's fine. What do you get most of your sales from? Probably the alcohol. From a laundry mat? Um, uh, I invest and own some bars and speakeasies. Speakeasies are illegal. I really don't own some. It's just an investment to make some side money. How much worth of this side money? A couple. A couple what? Hundred million. Well, let's, let's get off this, this topic. Time. So, how do you like your nickname, Scarface? I hate it. Why? Isn't it nice to be known as Scarface and not just Al Capone? Well, something happened. I was slashed in the face when I insulted a female patron and her brother attacked me. Well, you got what you deserved. How dare you insult me? Guys, settle down. I'm sorry, alright? You better be. What type of clothing do you own? Mostly trench coats and khaki pants. Do you have any children? Yeah, his name is Albert and he is 10 years old. Do you own any properties? I own a few properties. Just a question, if you own a laundry mat, right, then how can you afford these properties? Well, you just have to ask my lawyer about that. Okay, then. So I have a question for you. So I have a question for you. What is your favorite food? Ooh, I'm interested. I love spaghetti and walnut sauce. Mm, What's your so good. What's your favorite part about it? Mm, I love the sauce. It's so tasty. Any gangster at the time would love it. Wait, you're a gangster? I said too much. Just forget about it. We can't, you can't forget, forget that. that. Then you'll suffer. What do you... Then I have something to make you change your mind. His name is Al Capone. He's moving as a stone. He can't be overthrown. He never has bars loans and he really has gone. He's strong as a cyclone. Tall as a dome. If you mess with him, he will let you know. He better steer a person. Here comes Edward with the second verse. Yeah. Your name is Al Capone and you wish you were on the throne. Do you look like a gnome and that is very well known. You haven't even grown. You need to go home. Is there a gaping hole in your life and you wonder, what can fill it? Buy some Wonder Bread. It is delicious and you can make toast or a sandwich. It's pretty offensive to say. I'm not a gnome. Ask my lawyer. I'm always moving. I'm sorry to offend you, but here comes Charles with the next question. So what kind of moves do you make? The dangerous kind. So what do you do? You can ask my lawyer. You keep saying that. Why? It's just confidential. There's some speculations on you killing people and your response to the murder of Frank Hitchcock. Is this true? Yes. But you seem surprised. How many people have you killed today? Three, but it's battery five. Code red. You'll be sorry. Well, who was that? You're about to see. <laughs> Due to unforeseen circumstances, the program has been brought short to you and has been brought to you by NBC. My bank note, reported straight from Cuba, very relieving. Director, Damon. Charles, Damon. Edward, side
Ad person, Damon. Al Capone, Nicholas. Editor, Simon D.